Thanks, fellow graduates, school teachers and faculty. Almost four years ago, we began a journey that we'll remember throughout the rest of our lives. Our time in high school has been full of highs and lows, but ultimately we all made it here. We're graduating, and it's finally time to be recognized for our success, the opportunities that we've taken advantage of, and our achievements. Also, as a reminder, please do not create any excessive noise until all the graduates have been recognized. This is just to ensure that all names can be heard clearly. So without further ado, as the president of the 2013 senior class, I welcome all of you on behalf of my fellow students to our graduation ceremony. Thank you all for coming to share in this special moment in our lives. To introduce myself, my name is Blake Melton, and I'll be delivering this year's valedictory speech. When I began to think about what I needed to say tonight, it immediately came to my mind that there were several thank yous that needed to be made. First of all, I'd like to thank all the teachers that have invested in our lives over the years. Many of you don't realize how much of an impact you've made. Second, I'd like to thank Google, Wikipedia, copy and paste, <laughs> for helping me survive Ms. Rainey's AP English class this year. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank all the parents and families of the graduates for supporting us even at our worst and providing support throughout our endeavors in high school. This past year, in AP English, we were required to create a video project that focused on our lives. In one segment, we were asked to create a life motto and describe it. The motto that I came up with is as follows. Success and failure are relative. Do what makes you happy and do it a little bit better every day. I decided to share this with you all tonight because I believe that it's important for all people to realize the true definition of success. Many people define success as having a certain job, making lots of money, maybe attending a prestigious school, or winning a lot of awards. Well, I'm here to tell you that those things are not truly indicative of success. True success is defined by several factors, some of which I'll now share with you. First of all, there's happiness. Being happy with your life and how you live it are vital to true success. Without happiness, all the money or awards in the world are useless. Decisions you make in life should be based on how the effects of those decisions will influence your happiness and your overall being. The next factor is enlightenment. And that can be defined as wisdom about the world and the way it works. Throughout life, each person should learn as much as possible about themselves and about the world at large. You may have heard it said that you learn something new every day, and that's absolutely true. And it's one of the most wonderful things about life. Impacting others for the better is another factor of true success. Every opportunity to help others should be taken. As Coach Todd often reminds us, Try to do something nice for somebody today without being asked to. And he has a great point. Even the most seemingly tiny and unimportant kind acts can have a huge impact on someone's life. To put it as plainly as possible, true success means that at the end of each day, you can look back and be satisfied and happy with yourself and with your life. We all must remember that we only have one life to live and that we should live it to the fullest. Live it without regrets. I personally plan on living by this definition of success throughout my life. During the past few years, many people have asked all of us what our goals are. I used to answer with all kinds of things about the career that I wanted to have, the places I want to live, maybe the things that I wanted to own. But now my answer has changed. I want to be happy. And by living out the true definition of success, I believe that anyone can find happiness in its fullest. In closing, I wish all of my fellow graduates great success throughout their lives in whatever it is that you all choose to do. Though we may not realize it now, the years we've all spent together will remain as lasting memories throughout our lives. I hope that each and every graduate tonight continues to pursue their hopes and dreams, and that all of you keep sight of what's truly important. There's a reason they call these ceremonies commencement exercises. Graduation is not the end, it's only the beginning. Thank you.